What excites me is really finding new and different ways to help students reach their potential. One of the goals of the Assistive Technology Project was to keep students with their peers. I really love, love stories. It's just hard that I can't read or write one. With dyslexia, you're having to spend your day decoding. When I was in grade four, I, um, I asked my table, how do you spell the word lion? And they laughed and laughed. In order to reduce the achievement gap, we needed to leverage Microsoft technology. We had 24 students between the grades of four and eight within the English and French immersion tracks. Our group of students included learning disabilities, ADHD, dyslexia, low cog kids, students with autism, and students with motor difficulties. We needed to ensure that educators were set up for success, and so we hosted a half-day training session. I really like writing on the computer because I don't have to like ask everybody what does this say? I think one of the most exciting parts of the project is with learning tools, teachers were able to see measurable outcomes. Beyond that, it was free. One innovative way that we've introduced OneNote to our classes is a digital escape room to use Dictate, Immersive Reader, or the Translate tool. For many students, the pen is the cage that stops them from learning what they're truly capable of doing. As we shift into a more differentiated learning model, we're building a more inclusive classroom. Office Lens has been very useful in allowing us to log student work specifically to those students. In that way, I can have my class reading the same material at seven or eight different reading levels. Microsoft Learning Tools have created an equal playing field. Using Power BI, we saw definite increases in academic achievement. I'm also dyslexic and I struggled in school, but my experience is very different. I'm always in awe of the confidence that Peyton exudes. I'm very proud of you. I always felt limited. Peyton feels limitless. Even though I'm dyslexic, I would say if you're having troubles reading, writing, don't be ashamed of yourself. Be confident of where you are right now.